I'm lucky to be able to speak sometimes. I like babe ba battlers. Me too. Shit like that. Like dead or alive? What am I doing? Oh. Okay. Um. You right. Get to play the, you get to play the cone chapter. Right. I guess that means Alex will be popping off in chat. Cool. <laughs> I can't say throughout my episode of Beyblade. Don't you want to see the red D's being parted by a Beyblade? <laughs> Which I had shown to my supervisor one time, and he was, you know, he was dying of laughter. Listen, the metal, uh, the metal saga gets uh, gets fucking wild sometimes. People die in these toy fights. Yeah, true. So, when are we playing DNF Duel Marvel vs. Capcom Three? Great question. Uh, I came and get too much into Marvel Three, so I'll get back to you on that one. I had fun with a couple hours I played of DNF Duel. I don't think there's a story there, though. No, not particularly. I bought that game specifically to play as the the brawler girl, and I haven't even gotten to booting up yet. I need Res more. I need more stream time. Respect. I bought it to play at uh, play at uh, the. Uh, she's look. She's pretty good too. Yeah. Although I remember there, there was like another playable character announced for that very fucking recently, like a year or two after it came out. Even though the player base is less Thank than. Uh, yeah. Even though the player base is checks notes less than one hundred these days. Yeah, that sounds mm. about right. Yeah. Here, if you want to hold the control for a quick second, I'm actually gonna go check that. Because genuinely, I do want to see my guys at aiding succeed, but DNF Duel just—they are. They're making the Hunter Hunter game. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Which, based on this week's Twitter discourse, anime fans are like, "Oh, this game looks terrible, terrible. The graphics are hideous." Fighting game fans are like, "Oh, oh, he's doing oh. an X Factor." Oh. The oh. what? Okay, first I'll give you the good news: twelve thousand three hundred twenty-four all-time peak. Twenty-three minute, twenty-three playing man ago. Mm. 23, 24 hour peak. Oh, that's delightful. Yeah. I will make that 24. Shit, what the fuck was I just saying? Twitter. Discourse. Anime fighter. Oh, yeah. With uh, anime fans on Twitter being like, this game looks like shit. All oh, the graphics are terrible. These animations are horrendous. And then the, and then the FGC head on Twitter being like, yo, he's doing an X Factor. That animation is ripped straight for, uh, from Marvel 3. This other animation is ripped directly from Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Yo, this game is going to be fucking awesome. You don't understand, dog. People <laughs> love Marvel 3 and Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Those games are fucking amazing. I want to play Tatsunoko. So do I. I want to play the version of Tatsunoko where we got fucking Amasamune in there, but I'll settle for whatever we got. True. That was the first game to make Zero playable, I think. I. Or was that X? No, you're right. I think you're right. I no, you're definitely. I, I, I'm like ninety nine percent sure you're right. It was also the very first game to make a lot of different characters playable. I'm pretty goddamn sure. Yeah, I can confirm. Was that the first fighting game where Zero for Mega Man X was playable? I'm pretty sure that's correct. It was the first for a yeah, lot he, of things. Yeah, actually. he's in the cover. Yeah, because it also has playable role. Oh, sick! Right. Okay, the model for Rocky Hood to here is definitely straight for me. I can tell you that for a fact. All right. Oh, uh, Mega Man Volnut from Legend. Hey, he hasn't been in anything ever. That sounds like a, like a lot of fun. Yeah, true. Also, uh, I I like how this was the cone chapter, but I'm playing Azuri right now. <laughs> I guess I can't complain too much at all, really. Oh yeah. So if, whenever you're in the two-on-two -two mode, if your player character dies, you you don't lose the match. You just switch over to the other character. Oh, cool. So in some fights, you essentially have four health bars. Also, I have the spread shot, essentially, from Contra if I hold charge on his projectile for the triangle. SMK versus Capcom has zero. SMK versus Capcom. The PS2 game. Did it really? No, no, it didn't. No, it definitely didn't. What the fuck? SMK versus Capcom KS was the first uh, playable fighting game for zero. That doesn't sound right at all, no. No, that that is one hundred percent not true because we've never had a two D strike for a zero playable in a fighting game. I should. Oh, cool. Went through anyway. Not sure that was unblockable, but hey, I'll take it. Oh, we haven't seen this one yet. Got some Mike guy shit going on. Hell yeah. 
Wait, SNK versus Capcom is not. No, wait, yeah, it does. Yeah, it's showing it here. Oh, fuck, right. Okay, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of Capcom versus SNK then, which is really strange, but okay. Boom. Okay, barely taking his one back with uh, Chad right now. Thank you, fucking pig. SNK versus Capcom Chaos is the third uh, Capcom versus SNK game. Uh, the second game is the one that we have on PS2. Third one uh, was never ported. Huh. Experts playable fighting game was Marvel vs. Capcom. Okay, yeah, that does sound correct. Yeah. As bewildering as it may sound. And chat, I would like to remind everyone of the fact that Leon S. Kennedy, one of the most premier fighting uh, characters in Resident Evil ever, still not playable in a fighting game. Ever. Somehow. We've had multiple re-releases of RE4. It's only the most critically regarded one of all time, aside from 3. And we've had a full remake for 4. And still no Leon. Wild shit. Oh, we even had Nemesis playable for fucking Leon. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like Nemesis in, in Marvel 3. He's fun. That, how did we get that before Wesker? No, Wesker was... Okay, Wesker actually was playable first before Nemesis. What game? Uh, Marvel 3. What? It, oh, yeah. Nemesis originally came out in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, the expanded version, because that was the thing that was going to be... He was going to be DLC, but then the earthquake hit, so they split that into a stand separate, separate standalone game. Right. Should I say it? Sure. Yeah, I'll say it. It took a fucking earthquake and natural disaster to make Capcom not make a bad business choice. Go figure. Is making a separate $40 release instead of adding four or five characters of DLC a better choice? Yes. Because it lowered the price of the actual game overall, too, because you won't have to spend $60 plus what the DLC on top of that. By the time that happened, would the price not have Probably not, honestly, because it's only a year. Street Fighter Cross Tekken on Vita was great. Do not believe. I mean, it had the extra content, Cross but but I can't imagine it was patched very frequently or uh, was that great of a thing. Street Fighter Cross Tekken by itself is actually a pretty good game. I've been hearing nonstop good things about how actually good it really is. Can you turn off the dual bullshit? What dual bullshit? Oh yeah, I think the, you can. I think you can. Okay, if you can just play it raw. Yeah, I, I believe you can. If not, I'm pretty sure everyone can just choose like some. Fairly standard, non-affecting jewels in competitive play, but no, it genuinely is a really good game. From what I understand, I was out of Quake made Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom three actually nerf Phoenix. <laughs> Funny that no, the whole separate re-release game uh, for Marvel three actually did release, uh, did unfuck some things about the original game too, like X Factor being way too fucking powerful in the original game. True story. Anyway, so I guess we are just doing a straight beam up right now. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Yeah, I just remember. Uh, you're fighting Slow Phone. Yeah, yep. I just remembered a uh, thing now. It's everyone is fighting over Cone, not fighting as Cone. So every, everyone <laughs> uh, wants to take him. So I'm not fucked out of luck. Yay. Oh, wait. Chad doesn't have an actual. Oh, right. He, we don't, he wouldn't have flashed up. Duh. No? But yeah. his dodge is like an actual sway. But I can't change the direction. He only does a back sway. Even if he pushes forward? Uh, yeah. Huh. That seems. Annoying. Guess that makes sense. I guess, but I don't like that decision by itself innately. Yeah. Also, definitely more uh, uh, vibes of Class Ninja. Also, with this kind of stage, make me remember the Force of Death stage from Class Ninja Two. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty okay with this. Is that your triangle, or is that your uh, level one? This is my real level one. Yeah, it's a real good one. Anytime you have any sort of uh, projectile. There we go. Y'all ain't ready for Vanilla Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Phoenix. Oh, I remember, Nigel. I very much remember. That was a fucking minutes and a half right there. Also, how easy it was to build meter in the original game, too. It was it was so obnoxious. There's some part of me that's hideously curious about uh, booting up, like, a launch unpatched version of Vanilla Street Fighter 4. It's fucked up by how much. Hi. Hey. Brandon, hey, hey, guess what? Guess what? I have it. It's downstairs for PS3. Not kidding. Because they didn't, <laughs> I bought it. Because they, it was, San, I thought I would get a free upgrade to Super Street Fighter 4. It doesn't. You have to pay for that. Yep. No, that, yeah, they did that. 
you could play Ultra Street Fighter 4 on a Vanilla Street Fighter 4 disc. You just had to spend like $80 for the $20 upgrade from Game Over Game Over Game. Yeah. Not enough for YouTube. Sorry, we, we are talking about Capcom Fires a lot, but because we got a lot of attention about aiding, so I'd like to say, uh, do not worry, we are going to get back to this game. Uh, it's okay. Aiding made this game. Aiding did make this game, and also, we have other Capcom involved things coming up soon. Don't worry about that one. <laughs> But no, uh, playing that game is fucked up too because uh, Ryu is broken and Sagat in Vanilla Street Fighter 4 is a um, fucking monster. <laughs> I recommend looking at some videos by a guy named Bal uh, uh, Bap Balrog. No, not Balrog. What the fuck is it? Bapazal? No. Uh, but guy's actually username. He doesn't post that much. But he's made some um, very good video essays, quote unquote, uh, detailing how broken some characters are in older Street Fighter 4s. And <laughs> my god. Some real wacky shit. Anyway, I guess Cone's been caught. Oopsie. We're gonna turn you. We're going to infuse a Hogyo Ku into you now. That's why you are already wrapped up like a cocoon. <laughs> As a for vanilla, you mean Shoto the fighting game? Effectively, a uh, sh uh, Shoto fighting game plus. Uh, Sagat's also here, who is also an honorary Shoto, I guess. Listen, aiding is capable of some bullshit. I want to see how they translate the character from Hunter Hunter, whose power is to give you who, uh, a t an auto title loan at 150% interest rate. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm telling the Shadow Blade character are going to try something. Have fun with that. Do they have? I'm, I'm glad oh, they do have two I'm glad that we are your muse. Say that word. <laughs> is it because it was because of uh, Bumbler or is it because of some Twitter shit? You know uh, why now uh, the mute the word muse would annoy me. Oh yeah, right. We're not there yet. No, not yet. We still have another one of those games to get to. Yeah, there is. There is the uh, card game. How's that been going, by the way? I finished a uh, base game for five hours. Um, that game, that game's DLC practices are horrendous. Yeah, I you showed me, and Jesus Christ, a nine, lot of goodwill killed right there. Nine dollars per individual costume. Oh no. There's like seven costumes. I haven't bought any of them. And hey, you can get a DLC story pack. Get uh, three characters, three characters for twenty dollars. Mmm. Yay, fun! I'm gonna buy those uh, those character campaigns because that actually adds to the story. But I am not buying any of those costumes. Oh fuck! I really am using Cone. Okay. Yep. Oh, All that right. was uh, that was one of the selling points for uh, for these games was the outlandish characters you would otherwise never get to play as. You judge. <laughs> Oh god, I fell off the cliff and I lost like a third of my health bar. Holy shit. Yep. Alright, well, is there anything salvageable about Cone here? Did they just lay a fucking bear trap? Yes. Oh my god. Oh. Trap character? <laughs> the dodge is hilarious, though. If you die, you can just switch to dad. This is fair. And well, dead. I guess I should try to land this super. But, like, oh, oh my... Just plant bombs. Well, there's a bomb and also the bear trap. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stop that. <laughs> okay, fine. We're having fun now. I, I say I wanted to play as Cohen and said it wasn't going to happen. Very happy right now. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry to dash your dreams, Alex. That was not happening. Hey, look. Rookie with the sword. And the right sword, even though she wouldn't have shown it by this time in the anime. Yeah. Um... It's fine. It's a special <laughs> you promo. You punched the Soul Reaper out of her. I, I, I literally did. I punched the red thing out of her. The red ribbon. That's it. What? Spirit ribbon. Spirit ribbon. You punched the Hogyoku out of her. <laughs> I literally did. I said it's going to be a little upset about that one. Yeah, we broke it. He's just going to be like, how the fuck did you break the Hogyoku? <laughs> and I'll just be like, very carefully. Cracked it like stepping on a marble. Let's go. Does he does he poison too? Uh, maybe. <laughs> this is sick though. Even though we don't even have um the, you know we have the, we don't have the devil punch yet. 
I'll take this. Right arm of the giant, left arm of the devil. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember the full the Spanish name for the attack, but it was, escaped me. La Muerta. I think it was La just Muerta it. is one of his attacks. Yeah, that's the giant gut punch. I'm sure that I accomplished something. I'm not sure what it is, though. I missed El Directo and La Muerta. Dude, I missed Chad in general. Shout out to the back in the day when we thought his final form was going to be like an actual full body power suit. I remember those theories. And it does kind of make sense, but now nah, we didn't get there. <laughs> Aizen, the fuck you mean chat punch to Hogoku to dust? <laughs> Man, yeah, Aizen, you should invest in those uh, full bring powers instead of uh, trying to transcend Soul Reaper and Quinn. Uh, <laughs> I didn't hear that one. And Hollow. Ichigo pull off the thing I was about to club. Raza Derecha de Higan. Right arm of the Yeah, I, he I heard Giant in there. Raza Izquierda del Diablo. Right arm of the devil. Mm. Sorry, left arm of the devil. I'm not liking where this is going. I would rather not do a three on one against these guys with Cone. I don't think they're, they're going to make you do that. I sure hope not. Actual hardest fight in this whole franchise if we do. <laughs> I don't know. Some of those fights in... in uh... <laughs> Chad and the Jacket is doing it for me, honestly. Same. Yeah. This is going to be fun or it's going to fucking suck. I, I, I hope it doesn't fucking suck. You better hope you go to the three and not three on one. I, I hope I'm there's a chat on my team or it I am fighting against Cone. Oh please. Okay, if we're starting with Ichigo's port intro, then hopefully we're playing as him. Here Ichigo. Yay. Is this outfit actually from Soul Society for yes. who are you? Okay, so we didn't just jump ahead to the one from uh Wake of Mundo. Had to check about that. Yeah, that one's a lot more sleek. Okay. Yep, yep okay. Three. You get to punish him. They even put him up on a platter for you. Literally, yeah. Okay, I don't even need to do shit. What? <laughs> Apparently, I'm gone. Yeah. Well, I'm glad this game goes on a high note. Assuming we're almost done. But with that being said, okay, bye. Guys. Have you heard about wind directions? You don't want to go over there. I was going to say, yeah, you want to make sure you're on the ground when the wind starts blowing because it will take you off the stage. This is actually some really nice uh, background modeling or art or what have you. It actually looks... Uh, it goes pretty far, too. Jesus. Yeah, that's some pretty nice uh, first work, which is funny because it sort of begs the question, where is the actual uh, area supposed to be? Because area is supposed to be at the foot of this mountain. Huh, yeah. Supposed to be at the foot of Sokyoku Hill. Yeah, this is like a different one. Also, they're in the middle of like, well, almost looks like a desert rather than this where it's a giant forested area. The the hill itself is sort of desert -y. There's no plants or grass life or anything. Yeah, it's very barren. Probably because of the Sokyoku, actually, now that I think about it. Probably. Giant Firebird would do that. Chad hit that. I didn't even do that. It's awesome. They'll do it on their own sometimes. Nice. It's rare, but it'll actually cause, uh, catch you off guard and stop you in the middle of a combo sometimes. Yeah, that's fair. Thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, we're done. Okay, cool. Chad got the win. <laughs> as he does. As he deserves. Barely had to do anything on my end. Hell yes. Chad the kill stealer. <laughs> 